two friends are down in the basement when suddenly a third friend wants to join in. The only problem is, this playmate is not even human. Hi, An old toy suddenly starts saying hello to them over and over. As soon as they get near, not only did it somehow turn on all by itself, but this is also apparently the first time it has ever been thought of in years. The batteries for this abandoned toy should have been drained long ago. The description for this video says that they have been regularly hearing loud banging noises in the basement, which is probably why they came downstairs in the first place. It's also extremely unnerving that, out of all all of the possible sound effects, it chooses to keep saying hi over and over. Gabby and Amy are TikToking at their university, but the extra eerie all white figure behind them steals the spotlight. I don't know if this is a guy creeping on them or what, but it doesn't move at all the whole time and looks really tall. Coming up about halfway to the door behind, this could also be a statue, but it looks out of place and barely there, like it could vanish at any moment. Published in April 2017 by Steve Cody, this video allegedly shows a ghost haunting a swimming pool. In the description, Steve writes, I noticed my camera picked up motion around my pool about a week ago. After midnight, I watched the whole video with my wife, and there's a ghost or something floating over the pool. He said it lingered there for several minutes. The video does in fact show a light floating over his dark swimming pool at night. It just hovers in the top right corner of the screen, bouncing back and forth a bit. So what is it? A luminous ghost? A ghost holding something luminous, whatever it is, don't go in the water. This pair of Russian men took the lives of some of the most vulnerable amongst us, the homeless, and they did it so cruelly that they thought it was best to film their evil. The young men used hammers and knives, taking the lives of six homeless people in November of 2010. They ranged from the age of 12 to 69. One of the young men's uncle discovered the video on his nephew's camera, and the pair were subsequently arrested and charged for their actions in April of 2013. One was given 24 years and the other was sentenced to life. Neither sentence seems long enough. Something is haunting the lobby of England's Brighton Museum, according to those who work there. This creepy moment caught on CCTV video at 3am could be the paranormal proof they need to be taken seriously. The camera captures a bright light and then a souvenir mysteriously falls to the ground with no one near, kind of like a ghost moved the object employees would later say. I think the quote unquote mysterious light could be a glass object reflecting light as it falls over. Maybe the shelf is a little unlevel. Maybe an employee or a visitor put it too close to the edge. I am 50-50 on this one, and we'll be sure to keep an eye out for other paranormal events caught on camera at this possibly haunted museum. On March 17th, 2021, members of Muso del Horror traveled to a derelict building in an unknown city in Mexico, live streaming the entire adventure. Just after beginning their investigation, the group ventured to the side of the building. As they come to some stairs on the side, a faint growl can be heard on the audio. <laughs> None of the participants noticed it during filming, but viewers were quick to point it out in the comments. It sounds either like a growl or an attempt to whisper something, but it is difficult to determine what. From here, they enter the building, which is hollowed out and falling apart. Nothing of note happens until just after the 40 minute mark of the stream, a high pitched noise can be heard almost like a screech or another hiss, albeit longer than the previous one heard. <laughs> It's also possible that this was the sound of something rubbing against another object, similar to metal rubbing against metal. The last speculation is it could be someone breathing in, possibly one of the explorers, although nobody else seems to be around except Alfondo holding the camera, and he starts speaking before the sound goes away. Si está bien la distancia, todo está bien. 
the team decides to conduct a Ouija board session, which is not recommended for amateur explorers, by the way, to see if they can get any activity. Not long after starting, a very faint voice can be heard on the audio. It sounds as if there are words in there, but it is almost impossible to make out. The voice can be heard speaking. Over questions being asked, could someone be trying to communicate? Soon they get an answer of yes on the board after being asked a question, and the board remains active for some time. When asked if it is a man, it responds no. Throughout the session, dogs can be heard barking wildly in the background. The dogs were rather quiet prior to starting the Ouija board and now they are nearly frantic. Animals are known to be sensitive of the paranormal. Could they be distressed at what the team is doing? Or is there another explanation? In the midst of the session, by far the most bizarre event happens. Alfondo's attention is called away to a strange light manifesting on the opposite side of the building from where they are. In the opposite corner, it appears as if a flame has been lit, flickering. Suspicious others might be in the building. They call out and make their way to the area. One of the team member shows a few photos she took, and along with the glow of a fire, the windows make it appear to be daylight outside. However, the video camera always showed the windows to be dark. Furthermore, the photo camera was not using a flash, meaning it could not be a reflection. What could this mean? They decide to do a spirit box session, and instantly, the sounds the box makes sound straight out of a horror movie itself. Well, it is most likely caused by the rapid switching through radio frequencies. We have never heard another session sound as terrifying as this. Alfondo walks with the device to the other end of the building and throughout hears some disturbing sounds. First what sounds like someone wailing in distress. The most disturbing capture of the night is what sounds like a child crying out in fear or pain. It's hard to imagine what could have happened at the location, as it appears some manner of horrors still reside there, endlessly crying out in the afterlife. Something is worth exploring with Tom as he checks out an abandoned mansion that isn't so empty after all. Noises make him want to run away screaming for help, but he also wants to make longer YouTube videos than he normally does, so he pushes onwards. Alright, I'm hoping no one's in here. No one's definitely gonna be in here, so I guess I'll be fine. Like, what the Tom doesn't know what to think when a clown walks out and casually turns down the hall without a single glance his way. The clown begins to rock in place, and exploring with Tom actually starts to feel bad for him, which makes no sense in my opinion, because almost no one would approach a stranger dressed as a clown in a busted mansion. Instead of running away to get help, he decides to offer the clown help himself. He never does actually dial a number. Another reason this could be fake. If a call please for you, you're gonna get some help, okay? You're gonna get some help. I'm gonna call the police for you right now, okay? Suddenly, the clown snaps back to reality and rejects Tom's help with a look that makes him take off. Yo! Yo, I'm gonna help you! In my opinion, this final response is what he should have done all along. boy thinks he's caught a real ghost sighting. He's checking himself out on camera when suddenly a ghost face in the window moves towards him before disappearing back into the night. There's a lot of pixelation around the boy's head, which at first I thought was due to a cheap camera, but then I realized this is probably a green screen. If you look closely, the ghostly figure in the window is wearing a red shirt that's similar to what he's wearing, so it's probably the same person. 
I think he recorded himself in the window and then superimposed it over the second video to make it seem like a genuine reaction to a real ghost sighting. It's pretty clever and almost fooled me until I took a second look. Mother deer aimlessly walks in circles while its young grazes nearby. You can tell that one of her fawn senses that something is deeply wrong with its mother at the 1 minute 23 second mark, but it can't tell exactly what the problem is. Judging from the deer's high steps and low grass, it seems to have some sort of neurological problem, most likely CWD. According to the uploader, the mother deer wandered over to a nearby creek and fell into the water. She was unable to lift her neck out of the shallow water and passed away. They have been leaving some corn for the fawn to survive on. Hopefully they do not get CWD as well. If you're eating grapes right now, step away from The Bunch, published by Sam Turner in September of 2015. A close-up of this grape bunch shows that something is growing on it and that something is hatching. Oh my lord. Oh my God, it's cruel. Ah! Oh! A spider is literally crawling out of the grapes these people purchased from a chain grocery store. The grapes were packaged in plastic, there appears to be a web wrapped around the vine, and the yellow sack spider crawls out of it. Several people in the comments say they found the same thing in their grapes from various grocery stores. Some commenters implied that supermarket staff were somehow responsible. But Pika Pika writes, The grocery store doesn't just insert a free spider. Grapes are scary. It doesn't matter where they're from. I had baby spiders crawling out of my grapes along with supposed mothers. Moral of the story? Don't eat expletive grapes. Or I'll add to that, just be mindful when you do. Spider. Oh my. Oh my. That's a spider crawling out of our grape. <laughs> A mysterious creature sighting was caught on camera at the edge of the woods in Forest Lake, Minnesota by a woman named Stephanie Gibbons. Based on her description of it, this thing, which she says was a creature known only as the Dog Man, is undoubtedly one of the scariest things in the woods she's ever encountered before. Stephanie says the Dog Man sighting occurred around 7.30 p.m. She describes the Dog Man creature as having long arms and a scruffy mane. It's too small to be a bear, and Stephanie says cougars don't live back here, so it's not that. According to her, the demon creature hardly notices them. Too busy watching deer across the field, she never shows the deer so that part of her story can't be verified. The dog man stays still until 12 seconds when her daughter makes a noise. Stephanie says this is the moment when the dog man looks over. It's ear flick. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh my oh. god! It's just legs and perked its ears up. What the f? They accidentally zoom out so I don't see it move. Other people have said they can see it sniff the air and lick its nose. And I wanted to know if you can see any of those things happening here. Because to be honest, I don't. She also posted a photograph to prove that this is a humanoid creature of some sort. It looks like it could be a person crouching down wearing a wolf mask at first until you take a closer look. On top of his head are two horns and what looks like leathery wings wrapped around a bat-like body. Stephanie says the dogman sighting is one of the many reported in the area, but this is the only one that she herself has seen. Tell me if you believe her. Don't pet a sleeping seal published by New Generation and originally posted on TikTok by a couple of blokes. These Aussies found a leopard seal from Antarctica washed up on a beach in South Australia. Of course, they presumed the seal had passed away. After all, it was lying very still in the sand, undisturbed by their approach. But as the man heads over to pet its back, the seal pops up ready to battle. Who knew a seal could look so much like a T-Rex? officially bearing all of its teeth at the man the seal hops forward a bit but then rests back in the dirt again the man on the other hand jumps a mile as many in the comments point out this is the most australian video ever youtuber jedward scissorbangs writes australia touch dangerous animal first ask questions later miss me with that i think i'm just gonna stay indoors youtuber dennis of dark life is at it again with this 
this video of paranormal activity in a haunted home as he's describing what he witnessed in the home when the cameras were off. Something happens while they're on. Вот, а, здесь будто бы шевелилась мебель. Ну, перед... Later, as he's speaking with the spirits, things light up. For some reason, Dennis sticks around, only to witness this. Here it is from another angle. Later, he sees something in the corner. Here it is again. Is this figure what has been causing all this mayhem? I think it might be. There are demons here, and Dennis shouldn't stay around too long, lest they get attached. These friends are talking in the kitchen when someone else pulls up a chair to join them. The only problem is, no one's there. When one of them finally notices that the chair is a full two or three feet away from the table, he's so startled that he doesn't even close the refrigerator. He just wants to get away fast, which is a realistic reaction for sure. Of course, no one else in the group believes his bizarre story at first, but when they see it for themselves, their scared reactions are as legit as can be. I'll add that the fear and surprise on his face is readily apparent here too. All of them are trying to come up with a rational explanation, and the best answer they have is that the man in a white shirt is somehow causing it to happen. It's true that the chair only seems to move when he is either approaching it or standing nearby. Just when they are beginning to calm down, a final event seems to confirm their suspicions. <laughs> Let me know what you think is happening here, and if you think this is a prank or the early stages of a spiritual possession. This video comes from a YouTuber named Kusun2. He's a college student with an original Xbox that has a very strange and unexplainable problem. Every time he is hanging out by himself, his console likes to turn itself on. This happens so often that Kusun2 decides to record it for evidence. The only problem is that this Xbox appears to be camera shy. He'll stare and stare at it and it won't do a thing. It only seems to turn on when he is doing something else, almost as if it's trying to distract him. Even now as he films his Xbox and explains his story, it refuses to turn on by itself and makes him look like a fool. After talking for about 5 minutes, Kusun2 finally decides to test his theory and leaves the room. The Xbox does nothing for a long time, but then… Keep in mind that there's no way to turn on an original Xbox remotely, and he always keeps his controller neatly wrapped up on the top of the system, so he can't be using a controller that's out of sight. On top of that, things have been regularly disappearing and reappearing on their own, and now Kusun2 is extremely creeped out about being alone. As we all know, ghosts can walk through walls. Here's video proof, published by Full Horror Dose in April of 2022. This scary footage was captured on CCTV in the hall of what appears to be a school building. In one of the cameras, 
A woman is seen in the hallway. She turns toward the wall and after pausing for a moment, walks right on through it. On closer inspection, there doesn't appear to be a doorway, elevator, or any entry here to explain her seeming disappearance. The way she moves so tentatively is also strange, and her figure vanishes right into the flat surface. What do you think? Is this a real ghost in action? If not that or clever editing, what could possibly be going on in this building? Sound in the absence of sight can be seriously alarming. This video shows just how frightening it can feel to hear something you cannot see. Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Camilla Rose 529 the Redditor explains that she and a friend were cleaning a house when they heard this incredible mayhem outside. Yeah, what was that? They went out to see what was causing all the ruckus. The sound fills up all airspace outside. Though garbled, it sounds a bit like a jet flying overhead. A moment later, however, this terrifying roar blows your eardrums out. Maybe not a jet, perhaps a literal monster. Yeah, what was that? Camilla writes, We called the police and they were unable to give us any information about what was going on around us. I never went back to that house again. Redditor Paranormal Psychic notes in the comments, There have been multiple eerie sounds coming seemingly from either the woods or the sky itself, usually music, horns, or even screaming. First time I've ever heard growling. Is this a growl? If not, what is it? It certainly doesn't sound human. This footage was taken at the Chapelfield Mall in Norwich, UK. The mall is closed when a mysterious red balloon makes an appearance out of nowhere. As you watch this balloon float around on its own, keep in mind that the air conditioning was off, the escalator was off, and there is supposedly no wind blowing in from the outside. If all of this is true, then how exactly did the balloon move without any air currents? Even more bizarre is how the balloon stays low to the ground the entire time, almost at the height of a child. Could this balloon simply be half to Inflated, or is it being held by a youthful spirit? Thank you so much for getting me to 40,000 subscribers here on my clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Can you help me reach 50,000 subscribers? Thank you.